Hello everyone. Let's start in all fours onto our palms and knees. Knees separated hip width apart. Fingers spread wide. Shoulder and wrist in one line. Point your toes out. Straight spine. Look forward slightly. Take a deep breath in. And as you're exhaling, closing your eyes. Start watching your belly expanding and contracting as you're breathing. Shifting the body's weight slightly towards your wrist. So moving your shoulder slightly over your wrist. Take a deep breath in. And as you are exhaling, gently opening your eyes. We come back to all fours. A simple practice for the shoulders. So dropping your chest down, bringing the shoulder blades nice and close to each other. And then pushing your shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, bring the shoulder blades closer. Drop your chest up. Exhale, push the shoulders away from each other. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades closer, exhale, nicely move the shoulder blades away from each other. Come back to neutral spine and lying down onto the mat. Let's stretch arms at shoulder level. Rolling towards the right side. Left fingertips in front of you. Try and place the left foot either outside the right thigh or inside, which is comfortable for you. Drop the head down at a comfortable position. Eyes closed. Let the body sway settle onto the right shoulder. Start relaxing your right arm. And keep that left shoulder slightly lifted up. Few more breaths here. Slowly come back to center, stretch both your arms up. Take your time rolling towards the left shoulder. This time the right foot comes outside the left thigh. Drop the head down. Rolling the right shoulder out slightly. Eyes closed. Calm breaths in and out. Slowly come back to center. Let's bring the chin on back. And palms by the sides of your chest. So by the sides of the end of the ribcage. Fingers are spread wide. Separate the feet hip with other. Stretch your legs out. Press thighs firmly. And slowly start lifting your chest up. Shoulders nice and away from your ears. Few breaths here. Keep rolling your shoulders down. And keep pressing your thighs down firmly.
Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly bringing your forehead down. Let's stretch both our arms out. Shastanga Namaskara. Joining the big toes together and joining your palms together, forehead down. Awareness with your shoulders. Exhale out fully. Palms beneath your shoulders. Come back to all fours. Stepping the right foot forward in between palms. <clears throat> Take your time walking the left knee back till you can. We bring both hands inside the right foot. So walk the right foot slightly outside. Inhale, take a breath in. Keep the chest lifted. Choice to stay here. Only if you are comfortable, you we'll slowly try to bring the left elbow down and then the right elbow down. Choice to keep your eyes closed. And observe the left thigh coming close to the floor. And keep moving the right knee in. Come back onto our palms. Tuck the left toe, lifting the left knee up. Strong left leg, straight left knee. Let's stretch the right arm beneath the right thigh. Hand reaching up, the left arm reaching up. So both hands walking away from each other. Slowly see if you can bring the crown of the head up. If that's not happening, it's perfectly okay. You can look forward. Stay here for the next five breaths. Keep sinking the hip lower. Bring the left knee down. Come back onto your palms. Let's step the left foot outside the left palm. Bringing the thigh parallel to the floor. Press the outer edge of your feet so that the knees are moving away from each other. Engage your belly. Stretch both your arms up. So hands are reaching forward but your hips are moving back. Five deep breaths here. If you want to intensify, you can lower the hip just one inch. Keep moving your knees up. Let's bring both our arms down. Stepping the right foot back, bringing the knee down. So first, Come onto the tips of your fingers, walk the right knee back nicely, pointing the right toes up. Inhale, lift chest up. Choice to stay here. Only if you feel like bringing the right elbow and the left elbow down. And keep moving the left knee closer towards the left shoulder. Eyes closed. Start deepening your inhales and exhales. Exhale up fully. Coming back onto your parts. Tuck the right toe, lifting the right knee off. Stretch the right leg out completely. Take your time. This time. We we'll slide the left arm through the left thigh, fingertips down. Right arm moving towards the right side. You can choose to be here looking forward. If you want to intensify, try to bring the crown of the head up. Five breaths here. Keep sinking your hip lower. Slowly bringing the right knee down. Come back onto your pass. 
Let's step back to plank. Joining the feet together in plank. Shoulder rest in one leg. Grip the mat with your palms and push your entire body away from the mat. Look forward. Five breaths here. And five more counts here. Holding it five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly bring the knees down. Sit back on your knees. Palms on thighs. Straight spine. Eyes closed. Joining your palms together. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale. Left elbow outside the right knee. Press your palms firmly to lift the chest and roll in the right shoulder up. Looking over the right shoulder for the next three deep breaths up. Every time you exhale, squeeze your belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Lengthen spine. Exhale, right elbow outside the left knee. Keep pressing the hips down firmly. Press your palms. Open chest, rolling the left shoulder up. Looking over your left shoulder. Exhale, up fully. Walk your palms forward, coming back to plank. Feet together, knees straight. Tummy slightly in, gaze forward. Holding it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Bring the right knee to chest. Holding it 3. Keep lifting the knee up high. 2. One, right foot back, exhale, left knee to chest. Holding it, three, two, one. Drop the left knee in between your palms. Bring the right knee forward, sitting back in Vajras. Fingertips by the sides of your thigh. Lean back, keeping the spine straight. So press the hips between your heels and slowly try to lift the knees up. Be mindful, it's a deep ankle stretch. Only if you are able to find balance here, choice to bring your palms together. Fix the gaze at one point. Slowly bringing the knees down. Let's come on to our toes, to our toes squat. So take time to press all ten toes firmly onto the floor. Again, leaning back with your body straight so that the body straight is settling onto your heels. Palms on thighs. Roll your shoulders back. Chin parallel to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, closing your eyes. Let the upper body straight settle onto the heels. Do simple shoulder stretch here. Let's stretch both our arms forward. Hooking the right elbow to the left upper arm. So stretch the left arm towards the right side. And drop both your shoulders down. Sitting up straight. Keep pressing the left upper arm close to the chest. Squat is becoming difficult, you can switch to Ajrasa. Moving on to the other side, hooking the left elbow to the right upper arm. Stretch the right arm towards the left side, both shoulders down. Deep breaths in and out.
releasing both your hands down. Fingertips down. Come onto your feet. Straightening your knees up. Let's bring the fingertips in front of our feet. Knees can be softly bent. Stretch the spine up. And press the belly close to the thigh. So if you can't feel the contact, bend the knees even more. Wrapping both your hands around your legs. Tighten the grip. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, slowly start lifting your hip up to straighten the knees up without loosening your grip of the hand. So keep walking your palms up towards your shoulders. Crown of the head reaching down. Awareness at the space between the shoulder blades. Both thighs tight. Keep squeezing your belly in with every exhale. Five more breaths here. Exhale out fully, releasing your hands down. Let's come back onto knees and palms. Three cat curl stretches, keeping the toes curved. Inhale, belly down, chest and head up. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come back to neutral spine. Stepping the right foot forward in between palms. Let's lift the left knee off. Placing the entire left foot down. So it's not too wide a stance. So walk your left foot slightly closer. Hands on hip. Bring the chest halfway up parallel to the floor. So both sides of the hip are square. Level. Inhale. Lengthen spine. Interlace fingers behind the back. Squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, start folding forward onto your right leg. Visualize the chin wanting to go beyond your right knee. And keep moving the shoulders away from your ears. So if you can bring the interlaced palm beyond your head, keeping the shoulders away from your ears, try and do that very slowly. The right knee is still bent. See if you can straighten it just a bit more. Exhale out fully. Look forward at one point. Bend the right knee. Shift the body straight towards the right foot. And slowly start lifting the left leg off. So trying to fold forward onto the right leg. As the left leg keeps lifting up towards the ceiling. Keep gazing at one point. Holding it five. Four, three, two, and one. Hands down, left foot comes down for three corners. So right toes are pointing up, entire left foot onto the floor. Left hand on hip, open chest. Exhale out here, inhale, left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. Only if you are comfortable looking up. Three deep breaths out here. Bringing the left hand on him. Look down, bend the right knee. And try to wrap the right hand around the right thigh. Not through the groin, but around the thigh. Left hand from behind. See if you can either interlace your fingers or hold on to the wrist. Or you can just place the left palm behind your lower back. Whichever grip you are using, roll the left shoulder back. And slowly try to straighten the right leg out completely. But making an attempt to keep the chest lifted. Looking up. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Look down. Bringing both your hands down. Let's bring the left knee down to a low lunge. 
At this distance, walk the left knee back till you have space, sinking with hip lower. The right knee, ankle is in one straight. Tuck toes, lifting the left knee off. Take your time, wrapping the right hand around the right thigh. Adjust the right foot if required to get balance. Left hand from behind. Chest is facing down parallel to the floor, but gaze slightly ahead of you. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's bring the left knee down with control. So the bind is still there. Point the left toes out and take your time to straighten the right leg out. Your chest is still facing down. Be very mindful. Feel the stretch in the right shoulder as well. Only if you are comfortable pointing the right foot in. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the right knee. Releasing your palms down. Stepping back to plank. Oh, moving the awareness to your right leg. Staying in plank for three. I'll just keep staying for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's bring the right knee between the palms. Left knee between the palms. Sit back onto your heels. Palms on thighs. Eyes closed. Try and sit in Virasin. So knees together separating the feet nice and wide so that the hips can start coming down. So feel free to use a cushion or a bolster on which you can sit if it's too uncomfortable. Or else you can just start walking your palms back trying to bring the hips down between the heels. Take your time. So the top of the foot is pressing onto the mat and not the sides. So if the hips are not coming down keep supporting yourself with your hands. Those who have their hips down Interlace fingers, stretch both your arms up, lengthen spine, but keep moving the hip back. Releasing your hands down, let's separate the knees hip width apart and slightly wider than that. So take your time to press the top of the feet. We are going to place the palms onto the heels. Trying to get into Ushtrasana from here. Exhale out here. Inhale, start lifting your hip up. Move your thighs forward. Open chest up towards the ceiling. Dropping your head down. Staying here for the next six breaths. Squeeze shoulder blades. Look forward, palms in front of chest. Coming back to kneeling down position. Fingertips down. Join your feet together. Exhale, folding forward. This time, we <coughs> separate the feet, hip width apart, <coughs> toes pointing forward. Bend both knees. Slide the right palm beneath the right foot completely. Left palm beneath the left foot. So press your feet firmly, shift the body straight forward towards your toes. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, start straightening your legs up. And be mindful not to lock your knees. If you are very flexible, keep a micro bend in both knees. Tighten thighs rather instead of locking your knees. <coughs> so shoulders away from your ears. Crown of the head reaching forward. Seven breaths here. Start moving your elbows to the sides to deepen your forward fold.
Exhale out fully. Inhale, chest up, releasing your hands. Let's step the left foot one step forward and right foot one step back. So hips are in line, right and left side. Inhale, lift chest halfway up, taking both your hands behind your back. Interlace fingers, squeeze shoulder blades. So throughout the practice, keep in mind to keep the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale here, exhale, folding forward. I'm feeling stretch in some weird place near my glute. Every time I exhale, try to press the belly to the thigh. Looking at your big toe first and then gaze slightly ahead of you. Bend the left knee and slowly start lifting the right leg up. Folding forward onto your left leg. Take a nice and slow breathe. Five. Four. <coughs> three. Two. And one. Releasing your hands down. Let's bring the right foot down and the knee down carefully. Okay, walking the left foot slightly up. Tuck the right toe, lifting the right knee up. Strong right leg. Wrap the left hand around the left thigh. Right hand from behind. Keep the chest halfway lifted up. And slowly start sinking your foot down. Rolling the right shoulder up. Breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Carefully bring the right knee down and start straightening the left leg up. Awareness with your left shoulder. <coughs> Keep the chest lifted halfway. Five, <coughs> four, stretch the left leg up. Three, <coughs> two, and one, with control, bend that left knee, left foot down, releasing both your hands down. We lift the right foot, placing the right leg down for trikonas and triangle pose. Take it up. So this time, the right hand is on hip. Lean back with your chest. Next inhalation, right arm reaching up. Look up. Exhale up, look down, bend the left knee, wrapping the left hand around the thigh. So this time you can watch the screen to see how the bind happens. Right hand from behind, <coughs> keep rolling the right shoulder up. Exhale up here, inhale, open chest up, start straightening your left knee up. Looking up only if you are comfortable. Exhale up fully. Release both your hands down. Step back to all fours onto your knees and palms. Three cat cow stretches. Inhale, belly down, chest and head up. Look up. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale out fully. Coming back to neutral spine. Let's set the right foot forward and the left forward. Exhale out here. Inhale, stretch both your arms up, coming up. Lengthen spine, look up. Exhale, palms in front of chest. Eyes closed for a few seconds. And gently opening your eyes. Balancing posture. Let's 
Shift the body straight towards the left foot. Bringing the right leg in half lotus. For some weird reason my left leg is shaking a lot. So be mindful. Bringing the right leg in half lotus. See if you can wrap the right hand around. Holding on to the right foot from behind. If that's not happening, stretch both your arms. Inhale, lifting the left arm up or both your hands up. Bend the left knee softly and exhale, slowly start folding forward. Those who have the bind, keep rolling your right shoulder up. Staying here for the next seven breaths in and out. Exhale out fully. Release both your hands down and come down to a squat onto the left heel. So choice to find balance here. Again, one more option to intensify is to wrap the right hand around holding on to the right foot. And see if you can lift the left arm up. So I am not going to try it on this side because my left leg is weak. Those who have the bind can try to stretch the left arm up. Releasing your hands down. Fold forward with the right leg in half lotus. Exhale. And with control, hands on him. Coming up. Releasing the right foot down. Oh, oh, oh. Separate the feet. Hands by the side. Exhale. Eyes closed. on to the other side, joining the feet together. This time you will bring the left leg in half lotus. So observe any difference you feel from the left and the right side. Choice to wrap your left hand around your body holding on to the foot. Inhale, lifting your arm up. Exhale, folding forward. So go with your gaze, take it nice and slow. You will stay here for 7 breaths. Any discomfort in the lower back, bend the right knee deeply. And those who have the bind, keep rolling your left shoulder out. Exhale out fully. Look forward and then come down to a squat. This time I am trying to come down to a squat with the bind. So sitting on your right heel, trying to find balance, lifting the right arm. <laughs> Few more breaths here. Releasing your hands down. Exhale, fold forward. With control, hands on hip. Coming up to standing. Releasing the left foot down. Separate the feet nice and wide. Squatting down in Malasana. Elbows inside the knees. Straight spine. Eyes closed. Let's come down to seated. Keeping the feet in front of us. And separated wider than hip width apart. Sitting up straight. We we'll place the back of the palm. The sides of the ribcage. Just like a chicken posture. So bringing the elbows inside the knee. This itself might be enough for your stretch today. So be mindful. If you don't feel any stretch. Slowly start moving the knees close to each other. It's as though. You are trying to bring the elbows to touch each other. Eyes closed so that you can't see my reactions. Enjoy the stretch. 
Awareness with your shoulder blades. Deep breaths out. Exhale out fully. Releasing your hands, shake your hands off. So lean forward with the chest slightly. Feet are still separated nice and wide. Let's wrap the right hand around the right thigh. Left hand from behind. Press your feet firmly. Inhale, lengthen spine. Start rolling your left shoulder up. Opening chest towards the left side. Stay in here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, coming up. Moving on to the other side. Wrapping the left hand around the left thigh. Right hand from behind. Sit up tall, right shoulder rolling up, open chest towards the right side. Deep breaths up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. This time stretching both your arms forward. So observe the bend happening from the hip crease. So keep walking your hands forward till you can. So gaze is slightly ahead of you. Stretch your fingertips for a little bit more. Exhale out here. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Pointing your toes up. Exhale, see if you can straighten both your legs out. Keeping the hands in the same place. So you'll have to engage your legs more. Once the knees are straightened, then take your time to walk your hands even more further. Deepen your exhales so that the bend happens only from the hip and not the middle back. Nice and strong legs, both thighs tight, feet pointing towards you. Staying here for seven. Every time you exhale, visualize the belly moving close to the floor. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly walking your hands back. Let's roll the thighs up, bringing the right leg in half lotus. So take your time. You're trying to bring the heel close to the belly and placing the top of the foot onto the hip crease. If you are comfortable here, bring the left foot closer. Choice to stay here or you can use both your hands to bring the left foot on top of the right thigh. If this is happening, gently move the heel. Avoid dragging the foot in. Only if it is coming a little comfortably, then moving the heel. Okay. Sitting in either half lotus or padmasan. Left palm onto your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, lift chest up, start rolling your right shoulder up. Look over your right shoulder. Three more breaths here. Inhale, come back to center. Switch sides. Twist towards the left side. Inhale, come back to center. So if you are in Padmasana, we will get into a posture called Gupta Padmasana. If you are not in Padmasana, then get into Baddha Konasana. Butterfly legs, trying to fold forward. Okay. So either you are doing butterfly, folding forward. Or with me, come on to your knees. Be very mindful. Slowly try to lie down. On to your belly. Stretching both your arms up. <laughs> that was my hip that started cracking. Slowly start moving your hip down. Eyes closed. Anytime the ankle feels weird, come out of the posture very slowly. Exhale up fully. If 
palms beneath your shoulders. Push yourself back. Walking yourself back. And bring the hip down. Stretching both the legs out. Let's keep the knees bent, feet on mat again. Hold on to your ankles. Let go of your head. Let the upper body become heavier. Moving on to the other side. Okay, let the thighs roll out. Bringing the left foot onto the right thigh. Then slowly bring the right heel close to the knee. So choice to stay here. You can just move the foot in. In half lotus. Only feel like attempting. You can press the left thigh with your left forearm. Use both your hands to bring the heel up. So in Padmasana. Even if you are in half lotus, we will try to slide the arm through the shin. So with these pants, it is going to be difficult, but I am still going to try. We will, I am moving the right hand between the knee and the calf muscle and the left hand. If you are wearing shorts, just apply some water or a little bit of oil so that the skin don't hurt when they rub against each other. If you have gotten your elbows outside and try to place your chin on the palms or you can just choose to watch my funny self on the screen. I am going to roll back. <laughs> Take your time. Let's explore again. So either in Padmasana or just one leg in half lotus, try to stretch your arm. We'll stay here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. If you come out of the practice completely, get back into either Badhagonasan or Padmasan legs. Getting into Gupta Padmasan, come on to your knees, lying down. Or you can choose to do frog posture here. So what we did in the previous session, you can try to separate the knees nice and wide, bringing chest down without keeping the legs in lotus. Choose. We are going to stay here for the next 7 breaths. Exhale out here. Slowly walk your palms back. Come back to Padmasana. Stretching both your legs. Let's slide down onto the mat. <coughs> Feet separated, hip width apart. Hands by the side. Eyes closed for a few seconds. Bridge pose. See if you can grab hold of your ankles. If that's not comfortable, stick to regular bridge pose. Press the feet firmly. Inhale, lift your hip up. Roll your shoulders down physically. Adjust your head if required. Slowly start lifting your thighs nice and up. Okay, just to bring in a bind here as well. See if you can hold on to the left heel with your right palm. And holding on to the right heel with your left palm. Squeeze shoulder blades. Be mindful. Keep lifting your thighs up. Stay in here. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Releasing your hands. Releasing your hip. Hug both knees to chest. Eyes closed.
cross ankles rock forward come up to seated we'll explore head stand if you are going about to skip head stand then i suggest you stay in shoulder stand for little longer till everyone else comes out of head stand rather me coming out of head stand so those who will be practicing you can choose to go close to the wall kicking up the usual way that we do or you can choose to interlace your fingers regular head stand posture those who want to explore something different what we are going to do is we will bring the crown of the head down knees bent hands are stretched out tuck toes lifting your knees up now adjust your hands and see how far can you walk your feet closer bring one knee close to the chest and see if the other knee is willing to come close to the chest i am not able to find balance so take your time explore the position of your hands and slowly try to lift your legs and switch to regular head stand either you are in head stand exploring or you are in shoulder stand regular head stand interlace fingers elbows beneath your shoulders crown of the head down tuck toes lifting the knees up this is also a good place to be rather than lifting your legs up try to just straighten your knees and then walking your feet closer slowly coming down those who are in shoulder stand lie down in shavasana head stand child's pose So lie down on the mat, settling down in shavasana. Feet separated, mat width apart. Hands nice and away. Watch your entire body lying on the mat. So make any adjust adjustments right now, so that for the next two minutes, the body can remain completely immobile. no movements at all observe the body as one entity lying on the mat observing the whole body lying on the mat awareness with the whole body start watching the breath moving in through your nostrils all the way up to the eyebrow center and as i exhale breath moves from eyebrow center back towards the nostril and out Keep watching your breath and adding a mental chant of Om to inhale and exhale. So you're inhaling Om from your nostrils to the eyebrow center, and exhaling Om from eyebrow center to nostrils.
awareness back to your body, back to breath. Take your time, slowly come out of Shavasana. Start moving your toes, fingers, head from side to side. Join your feet together, stretch both your arms up. Coming up to seated, keeping the eyes closed. Wrap palms. Palms are nice. And slowly blink open into your palms. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Take care.